We are in a third world war and it's an economic war and the weapon is debt. Here people who are interested in politics, they're interested in identity politics. Mm -hmm. So the right to define your own gender, the, the right to define your own, their own, your own um, race and, and uh, race, racifying identities and this, this kind of discourse is very popular. But this is not... Uh, uh, They're not worried. No, money is just you look in your own wallet and it's, it's really about uh, self-contained economic systems. You don't see the bigger picture, right? Nobody wants to talk about it. But you know what um, happened in Sweden, for example, that the, the most right-wing party, they started to say that they were a working people's party. <laughs> and that's because in Sweden the working class has almost disappeared <laughs> because now it's the creative industries or you know it's the banks or whatever that gives employment. <laughs> so the working class is smaller and the other class is is <laughs> very big but they are all living on borrowed money. <laughs> like it's just a fake. It's like <laughs> a pyramid game. <laughs> Every statistic report say that the, the, the amount of people who will come to Europe, they, it will increase, you know, mm -hmm. due to war and famine and, and uh, you know, ecological catastrophes and all this. They will come. Mm -hmm. That's how people are. We move towards where there is food and then prosperous possibilities, mm -hmm. you know, and it's nothing strange. Mm -hmm. So we have to just uh, accept this, I think, and find solutions and start to share. This gap between the risk makers and the risk bearers is the major source of what I would call social uncertainty. Culture, I believe, is the main tool, I stress, the main tool for managing social uncertainty. The, the only thing that can save the world now is compassionate mother love, the <laughs> kind of love that a mother has for her. But I, I mean, mm. it's like, Mm -hmm. People are really talking about empathy and compassion sure. and like... Mm -hmm. it's, it's so important. It's the only thing that can save us probably. Mm -hmm. this, uh... You know that uh, capitalism is, is there, but you also know that you are deciding by yourself that your mind, your social relationship, your way of being and of living is not determined by the social, historical necessity, economic necessity of capitalism. An economic system based on infinite growth, but which relies on finite resources, is frankly absolutely embarrassing. What, what's happening in Europe, what's happening in Greece, is, uh, is just a, a symptom of this disease, and this disease is going to continue to get worse unless we actually, as, as people, as a grassroots movement, actually take control ourselves of this economic system that's been run by very few people, and it's just run completely out of control. This movement is the collective, conscious change of the view of society. We are in a third world war, and it's an economic war, and the weapon is debt.